What's up, Aquarius? And welcome to your mid-November 2018 Tarot Scope Tarot Vibe. This is Water Star Vibes. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Water Star Vibes where I do a daily vibe as well as pick a card readings and test your intuition games. It's a lot of fun, so make sure you guys follow me at Water Star Vibes. Now Aquarius. We're going to jump straight into your reading. And I got to get this reading out. I've been meditating on your energy so much because I am really picking up some strong vibes specifically for Aquarius. Now, of course, all signs are getting done, but your energy has really been tapping me. It's really been touching me, okay? Because Aquarius, this month and the lingering months, like this energy is going to linger for a while. But you're stepping into what they call a paradigm shift, okay? This is where life will never be the same again, okay? It's kind of like the internet. It's like, can you imagine life without the internet right now? Of course you can't. That would be terrible. But you got to remember, there was a time before the internet existed. And when the internet didn't exist, we couldn't even imagine what the internet was. We couldn't imagine that we could just be sitting right here and somebody in China can call us and we can push a button and we'll be talking face to face. We could have never imagined that. And so life will never be the same again. We'll never go back to not having internet. Okay. And this is the energy that I've been picking up for you. It's like you're about to step into a season or a time where it will never be the same again. Life, as you know, it will never be the same. It cannot go back, okay? So that energy is very, very strong for you guys. I'm going to jump into the cards, and I'm going to see what else comes up. But just know that you got that paradigm shift energy, all right? So if you've been hoping for, like, a life change, I'm telling you, this is going to be one of those um, things. I'm also picking up Escape Artist. I don't know who that's for, but escape artists, maybe someone getting away with something and also um, other people feeling like you don't deserve or like you escaped from a situation and bettered yourself. And a lot of people may be looking at you like it's not fair. And the thing that you have to remember about that is it's not up to other people to decide which, what blessings you get in your life. So, for whatever reason, your air signs, you pick up a lot of things through the, the, the airwaves, the frequencies, the vibrations, and you're a very truthful person. You're about that truth, okay? And so, integrity is going to play a huge role in the karma that you receive back from doing the right thing. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into these cards. And let's see what we got. Now, I did a lot of shuffling on these cards, but I like to go ahead and give y'all a, a sound view because I know y'all can't see, but I like to... I like to shuffle a lot. Make sure we get in the best results. All right, but here we go. Cut in the deck. And let's see what we get here. Oh, okay. We got the Six of Swords. First of all, we're moving on to Calm Waters. This is definitely you being um, smart and logical, maneuvering through this obstacle course called life and making boss moves. Now, this means you're being quiet too. You're not telling a whole bunch of people. You're not making a bunch of announcements and things of that nature. You're moving kind of like a thief in a knife a thief in the night type energy like i told you this is you um being being smooth about it okay you're moving into a time where you're not going to be able to bring people at this time you're going to have to secure yourself first and this is you making sure you straight kind of like i'm getting the image of an airplane um when those little yellow things fall down you're supposed to put it on yourself first then you can help the next person it's like you can't help anybody until you help yourself and like I told you, there's going to be some people who feel like it's not fair what you have and what you're getting and what type of blessings are pouring into your life. Well, you're going to have to move away from that energy. Okay. You don't want to do anything that's going to block. Here we go. We got the four cups. This is offers you don't want. These are those people coming in. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that because what it is that you're doing, when, every time you have a paradigm shift, first people talk shit about it. First people say, oh, that'll never work. Then they, after a while, they get it. Then what do they do? They copy. And it's okay when they do it. Nobody should talk about them. But then life changes and they don't know it any other way. And so whatever it is that you're working on, 
after you've already gone through that whole process of people laughing, people talking, and then finally people getting it, those same people are going to be needing your help and assistance. But you already moved on. So if you're moved on, you don't want this. You don't want to go back to these emotional feelings. You don't want to go back to helping people who talk crap about you. So it's like you got to pick and choose like who's going to go with you and who's going to stay back. Now, here we go. Those offers I told you, they're coming in. These people are coming swift. They're coming quick. They're coming unexpectedly with these offers. Okay, now let me tell you what energies we got on the board as far as Zodiac goes. We got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is you moving on to Kama Waters. But then we got these people coming back quick, fast, in a hurry. And that is the energy of Libra. I'm sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, Aries, that's fire signs, coming in real quick, real passionate, real meaningful with what it is that they want. But then also here we got Cancer Scorpio Pisces energies with these offers. So they're coming in quick with the energy of fire, but it's going to be on some emotional shit. Can you help me? I need you to help me. I need you because I'm sorry and all that kind of shit. The stuff that you don't want to hear. The stuff that they should have said or should have did or the advice, the help, all of that when you were there. But now you moved on. So these offers don't mean anything to you now. They don't mean anything to you now because you've already done what it is that you need to do. Huh. Now we got the nine of cups. I told you paradigm shift this here is about dreams coming true it's about wish fulfillment it's about you coming to completion with something and it being very very fruitful aquarius you have a lot of radiant upgrade energy like i just feel this energy of being upgraded being catapulted being taken to the next level being taken seriously I feel like these people who are coming back quick, fast, and in a hurry, they are coming back because now you're accelerated. This is connected also with this, this uh, Knight of Wands. This means it's coming in quick. It's coming in fast. The movement is going to be very, very quick. It's going to be unexpected. And I'm telling you guys, you have to expect the unexpected. When paradigm shifts happen, they may take a second for your mind to catch up with what's really about to happen. Because, you know, you, you sit and you think and you imagine and you hope and you wonder, are these things going to happen? And then, boom, all of a sudden it happens and it's like, whoa. You know? And also here we got that same energy of um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or you can be dealing with a fire sign. But Aquarius, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. Look at this. It's so amazing how... When we get these things that we've always wanted, these dreams come true, this is the Knight of Swords. He's coming in with that truth. This is your energy again. So it's like first you were moving away from the energy. You were moving away from these people who weren't accepting, who weren't loving, who weren't doing what they needed to do, who weren't upgrading their energy and ascending at the, the accelerated rate that you were ascending at. And now, look, you're coming back, but you're coming back as the Knight of Swords. So you went away as the Six of Swords. Trying to hurry up, escape, you know, deep in the night, escape artist. Like you got away from people who were supposed to hold you back. Or you got away from a neighborhood that you wasn't never supposed to make it out of. Or you got away from a financial bracket that you was never supposed to get out of. Or you broke free from mental constraints that you were never supposed to break free from. And once you've done that, you show all of these people who now want to come talk to you, who now want to give you these offers, who now want to be a part of, and instead of you being the escape artist, the thief in the night, you coming back with the sword of truth, which means a lot of you people, <clears throat> I'm catching this thing in my throat where it's just like kind of closing up my throat chakra, which means a lot of you people back in the day had a problem saying no to these people. You did a lot of stuff for these people that you didn't necessarily want to do, but you did it. And now you coming back. As the Knight of Swords, somebody who's going to be truthful, who's going to say no, someone who's going to cut boundaries, and it's going to be a rude awakening for a lot of people. Because a lot of people are used to you bending over backwards, doing what they need you to do, and it's not happening no more. Because once, people don't understand, once you reach a certain level, once it's a paradigm shift, once life can never be the same, there is no uh, using you anymore. There is no taking advantage of you anymore. There is no making you feel small or insignificant anymore. You can't do that. You know, just like we can't go back to life without internet. We can't go back to life without having a phone glued to our hands. We can't go back. But there was a time when none of that ever existed. It never happened. It wasn't here. And now that paradigm should happen and boom, whole new world. 
Now, if you didn't keep up, like some people don't keep up with social media. Some people don't really use the internet. Some people just like, you know what? It's way over my head. I don't want to get with it. I don't want to switch times. So they got left behind and they're stuck in the past. And guess what they got to do? Uh, uh, can you tell me how to find such and such on my phone? Uh, excuse me. Do you mind typing up on a computer for me? And they still asking. They need help because they got left behind. Well, this is the paradigm shift that's happening in your life where you're going to accelerate to the next level and I'm saying people are going to be doing the same thing. They wasn't ascending. They wasn't upgrading when you was upgrading. They wasn't taking the steps to measure out the dark night of the soul and get rid of all that toxic energy within themselves and come with that truth and being integral. They wasn't doing that. So they got left behind. So now that you made it, they're going to be just like everybody who's caught behind on the other side of the paradigm shift. Uh, can you help me figure this out? Can you, can you help me? Can you, I just, I'm really feeling, can you help me? Can you help me? That's just, I'm just, whew. And it's annoying. It's annoying. Okay. Now, let's keep going. First of all, let me get the, um, the overall energy. Okay. We got the four of pentacles this is holding back so in some cases they may be holding back too much like uh you're saving your money and your penny pension and you don't really need to or you're holding back your emotions your feelings your your finances from people who are coming with these offers i'm really just picking this up like you guys just need to learn how to hold back boundaries are going to need to be set even with people that you've been dealing with for a really long time because this paradigm shift is not going to allow for those frequencies to come cross over to a land where they don't, you know, the vibration is too high, it's too strong. They get burnt up. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if you go to space without that suit on, all kind of stuff going to happen. You ain't going to be able to breathe. Your skin probably going to start doing all kind of crazy stuff. And it's just like, you're not going to be able to survive. And so that's the same thing that's happening with these people who are trying to attach themselves and drag themselves on with you. They're going to get burnt up. Now, for each person, getting burnt up might mean a few different things. For some people, falling out arguments. Uh, jealousy will take over. I mean, once jealousy take over, that's a whole nother ballgame because that energy can start becoming demonic. Like, jealousy is a hell of a drug. People will find any reason. So I hate on somebody else because that's what gives them energy. You got to stop standing away. You got to start standing away from people who get their energy off talking about other people. That shit ain't cool. That's low vibrational frequencies that will have your ass sitting there in low vibration land. And where you going, you ain't got time to be in low vibration land because the upgrades won't even allow for your energy to tolerate that kind of mess right now. Okay, we're going to throw out a few more cards. We're going to clarify a few of these things. Okay, what are you getting away from? Or who are you getting away? And what are, what are the circumstances surrounding you having to get away? Oh, karma. The karma card. Okay, so as it concerns you getting away, it's time for you to get away from people who don't deserve the fruits of your labor. See, this is karma. It's, it's karma at its finest, okay? Because it's like, you've been working hard, you've been taking the action, and all of these people sitting here looking at you thinking they're going to be on your bandwagon, attaching themselves to you, you get to reap the rewards of being on the good side of karma, okay? And karma does its thing. That's why I like to let karma play itself out, because karma knows how to balance the skills. See, karma can see the stuff that you can't see behind the scenes. Because we be steady, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to get revenge, and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But you got to understand, there's a whole other side of things that you have not seen, you have not heard. It's a whole slew of stuff going on behind closed doors that you don't know. And that's why you need to let karma do its thing. Because as long as karma's doing its thing, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta see what's going on behind closed doors. Karma see it. You ain't gotta know what they said. Karma see it and now it's karma season. And that's why you have to get away from these people because karma has to do its thing. Part of you leaving is part of their karma. They no longer have you and having you was a gift the whole time and they didn't even realize it. But now that you're gone or coming back as the person who's going to come back with that integrity, that truth and the ability to say, hell no, nah, they're going to be salty. Now, four cups, what they going to be asking for? What do they want? What they want from you? Four cups, four cups. Let's see what's up. Oh, we got the emperor. They want your expertise. Now, these are both fours. The emperor is a four, and this is the four of cups. Okay, so we're talking about stability. Okay, they're going to want your stability. 
whether that's your financial stability, self stability, whatever it is that you're doing that you've mastered, because this is also to me the card of self mastery. Okay, this is somebody who has done their thing, who has taken the time to have mastered themselves and their talents, their gifts, their skills, their God giving uh, natural abilities, and they have honed them in and they have done something amazing with them. They didn't just let them sit dormant inside of them. Okay, this person took the time to cultivate their skills and to put it out in a way that had them manifesting and looking real, real well smooth. Okay, so if that's you, then that's you. And the thing about it is somebody want a piece of that. But not just a piece of it in a, in a negative way, because I'm not picking this up in a negative way now. It's like before, before you got the hell on, it was in a negative way. But this is a whole nother thing. Like I said, paradigm shift. So this could even be in the way that people look at you. You've reached a, a certain area of self-mastery to the point where people will never look at you the same again. So you could have been once the the lower class person. You could have been the person who everybody looked at and laughed or thought you would never be anything. And the paradigm shift is now you've become something or you've done something so great, so grand and so wonderful that people can't even look at you the same and never will. They will never doubt your word again. They will never look at you like you the lame or you the stupid one because now they get it. Paradigm shift, that's how it changes. That's how it shifts over. Their mind will shift. That person ain't the same person that I used to talk about. It's not the same person who I used to call a lame or used to get in groups and come together to talk about and go against. That's not the same person. Therefore, for me to say this stuff about them, I would look stupid. So the person's going to change their whole mentality about you. So good job. Who we got the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles with this Knight of Wands. So this unexpected news, this unexpected offer, this unexpected, wonderful, magical thing, this paradigm shift thing that's going to come in is going to be about the solid foundation on the home front. This can also represent inheritance, generational wealth. If you are an entrepreneur and you are looking to build that um, grandchildren's, great-grandchildren money, having longevity in money, this is a good sign. So be on the lookout for whatever offer this is coming in. Real swift, real smooth, real quick, unexpected. But be on your toes about it because it can definitely start the foundation to start setting up that longevity. So, you know, you can have your people's grandchildren's. They can be straight eating off your work. Now, this nine of cups, this dream come true, this what, what it is that you want, man. What's going on? What's going on? Ooh. Now we have the nine of pentacles and this is the nine of cups. So we got nine, nine. This is completion, y'all. So something is coming to completion. Now this card represents being single, but that also represents being content and peaceful and happy about that. You have no problems if you're single right now. And well, I mean, I don't mean you have no problems. I just mean you have no problems being single, like because being single and focusing on yourself is what got you to this emperor position in the first place, that whole notion of self mastery. So now you're beautiful, you're smart, you're out there, you're, you're doing wonderful, you're completing stuff, you're getting stuff done, your dreams are coming true. I told you they're coming it is the paradigm shift season for you Aquarius I'm I'm thrilled I'm thrilled for you because if we look on this board we got the Emperor and the karma card right next to each other two major arcanas something is being revived something is coming to life and not just coming to life in a way that you know we see think about someone who who died and they've gone to the grave and now they're coming back up they're a spirit but they get to live in a totally different dimension okay this dimension is totally brand new it, it has new magical powers it has new features it has probably new colors and new things that you've never thought of before with your human mind you've transitioned you've changed over you are no longer a human being but you are a spirit being which you've always been you get to go home you get to go back to that place so this places in your spirit that you have lived such as your imagination where this whatever it is that you're manifesting you've always thought about it You've always talked about it with all these people who have all these negative things to say and all of this doubt and all of this worry and all of this fear that they're projecting on you. You already thought about this. This is nothing new. So for it to be revived and come to life and be seen in a new way, shape and form, paradigm shift. Paradigm shift. And now these dreams, boy, they're coming in Aquarius. You did your thing. Now let's go ahead and let's look into this last card, the Knight of Swords. And let's just see why you are, why are you so tough? Ain't nothing wrong with being tough, okay? You're full of integrity. 
It's like you've been waiting for this and you're not gonna let anybody come in and just start shitting on you. So let's see. Okay. Whew. We got the star card. This is your sign. So this is Aquarius. The star card represents Aquarius. And we have it with Aquarius Libra Gemini card, which is the Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, you've worked so hard for this, for this hopeful future. You've worked so hard to become this person that you've become. You've worked so hard to master yourself. You've worked so hard to revive these dreams. You've worked so hard to get away from choppy waters and get to more smooth waters. You wish somebody would. You wish somebody would, after all this hard work, after all that talking, after all that that you did, after all that that you said, you want what? My dream? You want a piece of my dream? You want to drink from one of my cups? How dare you? How dare you? And not on some arrogant, oh, you think you all that now. No, let's start talking facts. Truth. You did lie on my name. You did make me feel small. You did make me think that my dream was impossible. You did make me feel insignificant. You did talk about me in groups. You did put negativity out there. You did send negative vibes my way. You did wish that I would not make it. Those are true facts, facts. And that's what you coming back with. So when people come with that old, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you changed it. Oh, you think you made it. Make sure you come back with them facts. Don't get all the emotional. You ain't emotional. You an air sign. You come with them facts. So when they come at you with all of that crying and all of that, oh, and I'm sorry and all of this and that, you better cut it off. Superstar. Cause you made it. And ain't nothing they can do to take that away. Paradigm shift. Life will never go back to being the way it was. Cause it's a paradigm shift. They can't talk about you no more. Otherwise they're gonna look stupid. Paradigm shift. So Aquarius, enjoy the ride. Now these energies could be starting now. They could have already started or they'll be lingering a little bit more into the future. But I'm telling you Aquarius, you get ready for this ride. Because it's a paradigm shift and things ain't never going to be the same. And you make sure that you keep what you work for to yourself and only distribute to people who deserve it. You dig? This has been your reading Aquarius. Make sure you guys subscribe and definitely make sure you head on over to Instagram and follow my page at Waterstar Vibes. I'm telling you, we have a lot of fun over there. Every day you get your daily vibe, you guys will play pick a card and you guys can do some and test your intuition games, okay? So if you guys want a personal reading, make sure you guys check out the information in the description box where you can check out all the different links and it tells you and explains to you how it all goes down if you want a reading. So make sure you guys get a reading from me i'm ready to share my gift with you guys i'm ready to give you insight and information to things that you may be wondering or questioning so hit me up this is water star vibes baby i'll see you guys next time